today we'll be discussing about how diabetes can be managed by yoga and what all we offer in for a wellness and what type of intervention we follow for the management of diabetes so diabetes is a lifestyle disorder which is caused by insulin deficiency so it is called lifestyle disorder because it is totally dependent on how you eat what your lifestyle is and it is very much controllable and very much reversible you can reverse it as well uh diabetes is a condition in which body is not able to utilize the glucose which you are eating maybe via food or carbs that energy is not been converted as insulin is not active very actively and it is not taking the uh, all the glucose in your cells and what happens is as a result the glucose keeps keeps on floating in your blood and it causes chronic hyperglycemia now as i've already mentioned since it is a lifestyle disorder it can be regulated by controlling what you eat what type of diet you are having in the morning afternoon evening and your healthy lifestyle so this is just a depiction of what insulin is so for all the people who don't know how and how it is produced it is produced from the pancreas so pancreas is the organ which is on the abdominal area and it have a islet of langerhans cells and in that beta cells produce insulin here it is cycle of energy which means how you are consuming food or carbohydrates and it gets converted into energy so if we'll see in the first block that's how you consume the carbohydrate it can be in any form potato any starchy food chapatis wheat bread and as soon as you consume it your digestion process starts so after digestion sugar is released in the blood and what happens is pancreas gives a pancreas gets the signal that insulin is to be released because the sugar which is produced after digestion has to be converted into energy so now when insulin is released what it does is it takes the circulating glucose which is there in your blood back to the cell so all your circulating glucose will come to your body cells and that is how you feel energy you get the energy to carry out your day to day activities even while you are sitting you need energy because your body your heart everything is still working so that energy comes only when your blood glucose is uh going into your cells so now if we talk about a concept called as insulin resistance so your body is producing insulin your pancreas are working fine but still there is a resistance caused by a cell which is not allowing the glucose molecule to enter inside your cells so it happens because we start to eat a diet which is full of sugars and lots of carbohydrates and over time our own body cells they get insensitive to our own insulin because it is so much of sugar so much of starch in a diet that our body cells is not able to take insulin in a proper manner and since our body still have to get a task done it produces more insulin so in order to uh, convert glucose into energy double and uh, level of insulin is to be released by body which is taxing for the system and if this condition is not controlled it can reach to chronic levels now if you talk about diabetes and weight gain what happens is your natural insulin level get disturbed like we were discussing whenever there is diabetes there is either a lack of insulin or insulin resistance so that insulin level is is disturbing in your body and circulating glucose 
since it is not being it is not going to cells it starts to convert as fat and your metabolism goes into fat saving zone or fat saving mode when this starts to occur what happens is whenever you eat food your body will try to take that food or convert that food into fat more because it has got that perception that probably you will be going into starvation mode or you will not be um eating for longer times so whenever our metabolism goes into fat saving zone which means that your metabolism is slow slow metabolism directly leads to weight gain and that is how weight gain can occur when you are diabetic if you talk about diabetes there are four main types of diabetes type 1 diabetes which is insulin dependent uh type 2 which is non insulin dependent there is gestational diabetes there is another diabetes called as juvenile diabetes it happens in uh younger uh, younger uh, age groups and pre diabetes so pre diabetes is when your blood glucose level it has still not reached to the level of diabetes but it is on the higher side so all these diabetes occurs at different time type 1 diabetes is mostly when your body is not able to produce insulin on its own type 2 is your body has the capacity to in, uh, produce insulin but insulin is not working properly in your body gestational diabetes occurs when uh, in a pregnant lady so that's when it happens and uh, if it is higher chances if a female have gestational diabetes the child when they grow up they have higher chances of developing type 2 diabetes and there is this free diabetes which i have already discussed about we will talk about what are the symptoms of diabetes because lots of people they uh, generally never feel like they can get diabetes so all these symptoms if you have any symptoms you have to get go and get your blood glucose level checked so the symptoms are increased thirst frequent urination extreme hunger unexplained weight loss fatigue irritability very dry skin feeling too much tired and more infections than usual so if you will see all the symptoms here it is very easy for us to get confused with other situations for example if it is fatigue it can happen even if you are very much worked out but the main thing is you have to realize even if you are not doing lots of work and you are feeling you are fatigued that's the condition where you have to make sure that it is not happening very frequently and if it is it might be a symptom of diabetes and also other things uh, we generally tend to confuse with our day to day um, other symptoms but anything which is repetitive for example extreme hunger if it is even if you haven't done lots of workout or you have had meals to uh, our spat and you are feeling hungry you have to make sure that you are getting your blood glucose level checked now what are the warning signs of diabetes complications so what does it mean is uh, diabetes has been going on in your body for some quite a while and uh, you were probably you were taking care of it or probably you were not aware of it these are the few warning situations which you have to make sure you are going through and paying heed to it one is slow healing sores or cuts which can lead to various complications so if any of the wounds which you have and it is taking longer time to heal it means that you have some complications related to diabetes you have itchy skin and it is mostly in the groin area you start to feel numbness and tingling of hands and feet so most of the times since diabetes directly affect the neurological situation or your neurons you start to feel the numbness and tingling of hands and feet so you have to go and get yourself uh, checked your blood glucose level and also if you are feeling uh, that your vision is start to reduce or it is not the same anymore you have it is again a warning sign and if you feel you have the situation or condition of acanthosis migricans which is 
you have very dark skin on neck armpit groins and it is kind of velvety in texture so when you start to see that texture in your neck armpit groins which is darker in color that is again a very straightforward sign that diabetes is going under a uh, complicated side now if we talk about the test clinical test pre diabetes the fasting glucose is 100 to 125 mg per dl and your blood glucose after 2 hours of your meal should be uh, 140 to 199 so if you are having any of these readings you are in pre diabetic condition and diabetes occur when the fasting glucose goes above 125 which is 126 and higher so if you see you are uh, you have to be very cautious on when you have pre diabetes because pre diabetes is easily reversible diabetes might take little time and diabetes blood glucose after 2 hours should be between uh, 200 and higher now if we talk about what are the causes of diabetes so main causes excess consumption of sugar and carbs so you have to make sure that your meal is balanced it is not just excess sugar it is not just excess of carbohydrates because lots of people they tend to have one type of macronutrient in their diet so that has to be avoided also it is because of lack of insulin productivity like how we were discussing in type 1 diabetes insulin is not produced it can be due to various reasons it is basically more because of autoimmune condition and insulin resistance again your uh, consumption of carbohydrates is a lot and your cells refuse to recognize insulin and it causes insulin resistance there is also this genetic predisposition so some genes are uh, they become dominant and they express themselves that also the ma- major cause when uh, the diabetic symptoms or you have the diabetic condition sedentary lifestyle and lack of exercise is also one of the reason so this is uh, insulin resistance and pre diabetes we have already discussed about it so insulin resistance when cells are not able to recognize the insulin and pre diabetes is just a situation before diabetes now the main thing is alarming thing is diabetes is on rise so by uh, 2045 629 million people will suffer from this condition and what are the risk factors what how or what will cause people to have more diabetes so this sedentary lifestyle So it increases the risk by three times. So you have to make sure you are always on move, or you are doing lots of yoga practices, so that your neurotransmitters and hormones are also involved, and insulin is produced in optimum levels. Also, your unhealthy dietary patterns: what you eat, what type of meals you are having, and what time, how much is the frequency of it. Along with that, the major cause is psychological stress. So that is also to be controlled. now if we talk about uh, what all further complications can occur that is very important thing and uh, have to be paid heed to the so cardiovascular disease nerve damage eye damage nephropathy and lower extremity complications which often can lead to amputations and skin also it tends to be more prone to infections both bacterial and fungal and also you might have hearing hearing impairment now if we talk about yoga how we can manage um, diabetes by yoga since yoga is ancient science and have been practiced by lots of people to get rid of or to manage various disease condition um, it helps a lot because it directly works on your biochemical electrophysiological cellular genetic and your neuromuscular factors so all these things are impacted by yoga and it helps directly to increase the insulin receptors so we were talking about insulin uh, resistance that is where it works yoga helps in reducing that and uh, 
one tends to become more active physically because their metabolism increases and also there is now uh, it has been seen that the serotonin level increases in blood now the other things as well if you go in depth about it yoga actually helps in controlling the mind which is a major factor in any disease how disciplined you are so yoga helps in making you more disciplined it regulates your eating patterns and it helps in managing your eating disorders so here what happens is while doing yoga there is mind body connection which increases self awareness reflection towards yourself and situations around you and it makes easier to make any lifestyle or dietary patterns the major thing which yoga helps in is with is you whatever may changes you make in your diet they can one can stick to new dietary patterns and the yoga is not just physical exercise or physical postures it is actually composed of various things so yoga is a complete science it is based of yogic cleaning processes so it is called as kriya so the detoxification of body is done through various procedures then there is yogic postures which is quite um, known which is called asanas yogic control breathing breathing directly impacts how you are actually um your lung capacity and how much you should inhale exhale and retain your breath which is called as pranayam then is meditation which is again very well known and lots of research is have been done how it is so beneficial in various conditions it also is comprised of relaxation chanting mantras yogic diet code of conduct philosophy and spirituality so all these things the like code of conduct is important because it is mind yoga is mind body connection and we basically our body is what we think and what we eat so code of conduct is very important if we are thinking something good that's how our body will become and we will be more disease free and now this is just an um, it is taken from a research paper from a magazine called nature the journal and uh, how it um, yoga or specifically surya namaskar can help in insulin production and how it is helping is yoga is actually signaling your brain hypothalamus to increase the production of insulin so always it is not necessary that wherever the target organ is that should be our focal point of treatment it is never like that it is a comprehensive system so you basically treat you go to the root cause and see from where the impact will be the most so here hypothalamus is one which helps in knowing how you can uh, or else in signaling your body to produce more insulin all right so what else you think asanas can help us with uh yogic asana since it have fixed uh, postures and series it helps in decreasing the hip circumference and mostly all the adipose tissues and fat cells start to dissolve and lots of asanas will have abdominal contractions which will lead to the rejuvenation of your pancreatic cells and as a result insulin will be released it also improves blood supply to muscles and uh, increases positive glucose utilization and your hyperglycemic condition or else the blood which is flowing in like glucose which is flowing in blood reduces and uh, these are other asanas benefit it actually pressurizes pancreas to produce more insulin it helps your colon to get cleansed because most of the asanas are twisting so everything if you see is related how asanas is helping and working towards hypothalamus how it is uh, working towards your cleaning of colon how it is um impacting your pancreas to increase more insulin and also it creates a vacuum effect which increases the local blood flow and reduces your blood sugar level which is very important uh these are for the more it also reduces your blood pressure again we were talking it regulates your pineal pituitary and adrenal glands 
it helps in regulation of your metabolism. So if you have low, low metabolism, it will balance it out and it increases your neural activity. These are a few asanas we recommend for people who are diabetic, but it totally depends on individuals. So um, if we are in, at for a wellness, if we are giving anything one-on-one, -on -one, we first analyze the situation or body composition of the person, and depending on that body composition, we decide what type of series will be beneficial for any, um, any person. So what we actually are offering for diabetes is we are doing the 10-day yogic intervention. Um, we have a package where for 10 days you can book classes and it will be a one-on-one -on -one session. And we do it under um, expert supervision. So whoever is here, they will have to be under supervision of an expert and it is one one-on-one -on -one class. And it also helps in uh, further diabetic complication regulation like heart disease. Um, the very important thing is what contraindications are there. If someone is practicing yoga, so it's always it is important to do yoga under expert supervision because you have to make sure whatever asanas you are doing, your alignment is good. If you tend to repeat same alignment mistake for over longer period of time, you will instead of getting benefited, you will actually injure your body. And one have to make sure fast pacing while going into an asana or coming out is to be avoided because that's where you are working on few minor muscles and impacting or benefiting your body. Also, there are um, few signs which a person starts to show if there is a uh, complications because of any yogic asana. So that also have to be paid heed to. And complications could be um, increased perspiration or increased heart rate, dizziness, many things. And uh, alignment and balancing is very important that you are doing it when you are very sure you'll be able to balance out your body. If we'll talk about the Ayurvedic management, because we uh, do the mixing of both yoga and Ayurveda while doing the um, going towards the management of diabetes. So what we do is we have the procedure or Ayurvedic therapy called as Udvartanam. Udvartanam is uh, when we are rubbing a patient's body or a person's body with dry herbal powder. Now. As per Ayurveda, diabetes is kapha dominant. Kapha dominant basically increases, you can relate kapha to earth and water, so it is heavy. So diabetes is a maid or kapha dominant um, disease. And Udvartana, what it does is, since we are rubbing the dry powder onto the body, it reduces your fat cells and kapha dosha. Because the friction produced creates energy or heat, which directly goes against your uh, kapha dosha and decreases it. We also do takra dhara. Takra is buttermilk and dhara is pouring in stream. So what it helps in with, takra dhara is uh, very good for all the complications of diabetes, basically diabetic neuropathy, and it increases circulation and enhances the performance of nervous system. So, the Krudhara directly is very good for anyone who's having complications because of it. And uh, it also helps in other complications like works with migraine, headaches, anorexia, and many other. This is the third thing we like to give to people, which is called Chakra Basti. It is also called as Nabi Basti. So Nabi Basti is um, your navel. Nabi is navel. And Basti is when we create a kind of a pitch type of thing where we in, uh, pour oil. And this is directly associated with your solar chakra. So solar chakra is also, is called, also called as navel chakra. And it directly stimulates. Chakra Basti directly stimulates your solar, solar chakra 
and in return your pancreas gets stimulated what happens is uh, with the anyone who's in chakra basti and we have uh, experts we use uh, certain oils prepared uh, with various herbs and uh, we use those oils which helps in regulating your digestive disorders and also stimulating your pancreas if you talk about the diabetes packages for all those who wants to just uh, come in and have uh, the counseling they can directly go for the packages mentioned here so if they want to go for 3 days package it will be comprised of following things it will have udvartana and team one session of takradhara one session of chakrabasti and two sessions of yoga and pranayama so it is a 3 days package and the 5 days package will be two sessions of udvartana and team one session of takradhara two session of chakrabasti three session of yoga pranayama or else you can also select 10 days of yoga for diabetes so for all 10 sessions it will be just an hour of yoga totally based on diabetic management we also have few uh, products which we um, suggest to all people coming in depending on again this condition and body composition so uh, bhandaran tel is one of them so what it does is it soothes the nervous system and it energizes it and it stimulates your muscles ligaments and joints and also improves your flexibility so any pain which is occurring because of the complications can be managed by using the oil and then this is kataka khadi radi kotham what it does is it helps in reducing your blood sugar so that's that's what main important thing is that in diabetes the blood sugar level is high in blood so it helps in directly reducing it because um it improves the blood circulation in cells so your if cells are receiving the glucose it directly gets converted into energy whatever glucose is there and circulating blood glucose or blood sugar decrease so also rich in antioxidant and it is also beneficial in the diabetic complications like retinopathy and neuropathy this is third product which uh, is called as yoga raj gugu and it helps in nourishing your bones and joint and actively relieves pain in your uh, bones joint and it helps in strengthening your skeletal and neuromuscular system it promotes healthy elimination of your natural toxins now is saraswat gritam so what it does is it is a ghee it is made from cow's milk and it is infused with various herbal herbs and it helps in improving your memory and concentration it's also good for your sleep issues it strengthens your nervous system and it improves speech and intelligence in children so this is where we practice all the uh, holistic uh, interventions for various diseases Quorum Wellness is located at 1635 Oak Tree Road uh, in Edison, and here's our email and phone number. If you have any uh, questions, you are most welcome to give us a call, and uh, we have a consultation going on in there. Right now, we are providing it as complimentary, free. You are most welcome to walk in and make a walk in, or also make an appointment. Appointment is better. Uh, because we'll be uh, able to give you ample amount of time and you can come in there have consultation and then depending on the condition we can go over what all therapies and what all is required to manage any disease condition so now i will be welcoming any questions you have i will be unmuting everyone uh cams As soon as you put cams, you will show up in those engines. Come up here, Ruto. Me jaati hoti. Me kya karu? So, Jim, me jaate hain? So, no kya karu? Me to sunne ki shi. Aur ek question ho gaya. Abhi se mukhya bhi. Okay, so this is a question. Anyone who have any questions, they can go ahead yeah. and ask. Nee, idhar hai. Tum mainly to idhar hai, Jay. Okay. 
So it actually get to be an interesting conversation. I'm still accepting questions. Sanam, what did you say to your boss? Sanam, come here and talk about it. Come here, son. Why? So what I'll, did your boss say? I will um, I'll mute huh? everyone. So again, you are most welcome to come and visit our um, Param Wellness Center, and uh, we'll be working on various disease conditions. And our next webinar and workshop will be on the condition of arthritis. So. Uh, our month of march will be totally based on arthritis um, various interventions towards it uh, it can be yoga it will be ayurveda so you are most welcome to walk in in person to workshop which will be held at 7th of march it will be on arthritis and how yoga will be beneficial in management of arthritis so wish you a great day and thank you and god bless you all